Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Mega Modded Gungeon. We are jumping in again. I'm playing as the captain here. Um, some little kooky character. Yar -har. Yar -har. And he has a synergy with the Corsair and the Grappling Hook. Corsair is an interesting starting weapon, definitely. Um, I don't know what that synergy is. Do you know what that synergy is? No idea. But the Grappling Hook is pretty good. Um, we can try and steal items with it. I'm not very good at doing that, I'll be honest. Um, From what I know, the captain is a reference to... Uh... Captain is a reference to Moby Dick. Ah, right, okay. Angry bullets, nice. <laughs> oh, NL as well. All the great stuff. Yeah, anyway. NL. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, Never Never might be a little bit louder now. Um, I turned him up a little oh. bit. Yes, Tell me you if he's too me loud up. or not. Yes, I feel so free. Oh, dude, I'm I think free from the... I think it's because on my end you sound like you're a bit too loud, but maybe on the video you sound fine. Well, that's... Well, turn me down your headphones then, not like in the recording. I can't. So it's is the like fucking... infinite ammo awesome? What's, what's can... this again? Oh, that's cool. You can mix audio sources and stuff. Ugh. <laughs> this man is trash. No. I will not accept that offer. Little wizard oh. man. Like, baby, baby, baby moment. Nobody wants that. E. Ooh, wait. Cors so that's that Corsair the black angry flag synergy. Oh, the black flag synergy. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I see yeah, that. Corsair see also that. already has uh, piercing, so angry bullets isn't that. And then freeze bullets as well. Awesome. Man, this run is so good already because of that fucking machine that you cheat to use. Yep. <laughs> You Every just give time. yourself money and de completely defeats the point of the machine. Because it's so expensive, but I like cool stuff. It's always fun to start off the, the run with an extra few items. Even if it makes me overpowered. I know, I know so, this goes completely against the thing we talked about earlier with the rat, but shush. Some stuff might be coming out, out of order for some reasons, but... Uh, we talked earlier, and I, the channel said that the rat was easy. So I'm gonna bully him, and he has to go to the rat this run. <sighs> Do I, bitch. So save up for that, save up for that, oh no, you have the grappling hook, right. Although that's not guaranteed. If you can grappling hook steal, no, but you might get caught, and I, then the I, shop's I, out. I almost always get caught if I grappling hook steal. I'm really bad at not getting caught. Well, oh, it's not skill-based, it's just chance-based. Oh, is it chance-based? Oh. Yeah, it's just a it's just a percent chance. It doesn't matter where you stand. I did not know that. I thought it was legitimately it, due to like how close you are to the door and how quickly you can get out of the shop. Nope, it's just chance based. Never knew. It that. just means you know. you got on. It, it just means you're unlucky, is what it means. By the way, we are also using a new mod. Yeah, just 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 so that you guys are aware, um, we just recorded a video before this, but for uh, reasons that I'm some, not gonna... some. Some yeah. stuff might be coming out out of order, or not at all, who knows. Re reasons Just that some I'm stuff not gonna go over, going there's on. a video that might come out, or it might not, we'll see. Um, uh, Turtle said many, uh, secretly, just between you and me, Turtle said many racial slurs. And yeah, he has yeah, to yeah, take yeah, the yeah. time to edit them out. I do, I do, I do, I do. That's exactly it, that's exactly it. Um, uh, he's, he, he was racist in ways I didn't know you could be racist, quite frankly. Specifically against both turtles and melons. Yeah, I mean like, I guess it's just, just like a... A thing you learn being British. <laughs> but anyways, so well, there's a few things that we're going to reiterate in this video, and you might see them, uh, you might be hearing them again for the second time, you might be hearing them for the first time and then hear them again for the second time. But yeah, one thing I just want to go over, we have new map icons. Lucky, lucky. lucky I made lucky. that, I did that, I Never did that. made a cool little mod that adds new map icons. Really, really nice just for um, having a uh, Extra knowledge easier of where navigation. things are, easier navigation. So you don't yeah. have to, you don't have to memorize room layout shapes. Chest rooms are marked so that even if you've opened the chest, you can easily come back and check for secret rooms. So that's another thing I saw people really struggling with. Yeah, with the new shapes and sizes of secret rooms, uh, secret rooms of uh, item rooms. Chest rooms. It can be hard to uh, come back to them and, and know what's an item room, what isn't, because there's just so many various new shapes that it could possibly be. Yeah. I considered doing the same for secret rooms, but determined that it was not, like, important enough. Like, 
you wouldn't, you generally don't need to return to secret rooms that much. What's this? Uh, wrench. More damage the more modded items you have. Ooh, okay. That's pretty good. Not very oh, good right Items now, and guns. Not bad. Hey, that's... That's pretty good. Uncommon. Cute. That's pretty good. Yeah. Right, so we're saving up for oh, rats. Geez, oh, wait. Yes. If we're saving up for a rat, would it make sense to buy a key and go to the Ubliette? It would, wouldn't it? Yes. But now I think you blew up the barrel. So you may have to go. You may have to go I'm jungle have, instead. I may have to go jungle. Yeah, you're right. Let's have a look. I think I did. Yeah. Yeah, because you're using the Corsair, which bounces all over the place. Cor use a Corsair different gun for this fight. Is genuinely one of my favorite weapons. It's if so this is a fight, use a different gun. That's what I was trying to get across to you, but you Angry weren't paying attention to me. A Angry bullets could fuck us anyways. Oh. Wait, where's the explosive barrel? Oh, use the torches. Quit being a whiny wart. I always forget the torches exist. You, you've done that like two videos. The last two yeah, times you've I gone know, to the jungle. But shush. I've, we, we already discussed about how forgetful I am and stupid. You're such an old man. Boom, bow. He's such an old man, he doesn't remember anything. Very true. He got a bullet lodged in his head during the Great War, and he hasn't been the same since. <laughs> I have three messages on Discord, let's find out what they are real quick. While we walk through these doors. Because it might be something important, or it might be nonsense. I missed the X entrance. Discord, what do you have to tell me? Doesn't matter, it's fine. Unimportant information. It's a message from someone, but I'm gonna live in the now. Live in the moment and read them later. Happy Bark. Oh. Anyways. You gotta love the jungle. We were, we were talking earlier about um, Alexa's experience in the jungle. Um, we were talking so earlier about how much Turtle's room designs suck. Yeah, we were. Uh, basically, indirectly, yes, we were. Uh, basically, we're kind of talking about the fact that we never sort of clocked, or at least I never sort of clocked, how much harder Gungeon is when modded. And one of the things that kind of revealed that to us is... Unfortunately, Alexa sucking big booty uh, at the game, which uh, I think he'll understandably admit to. Um, and I think that's mainly because Molly so Alexa, the game Alexa watches hard. all your videos, right? He watches all your videos. I don't think he does, no. <laughs> no, Alexa, a, he's a big fan. He watches every single one of your videos. Yeah, exactly. He, yeah. he has your autograph pinned on his wall. Everyone does. True, true. Your hands fell off from signing so many autographs. <laughs> I'm playing this with my teeth. Oh my god, I've got a really, really itchy facial hair right now. Just a single bit of hair. It's really itchy. I don't know what's going on. It's two inches long. It's two inches. It's the two inch hair. Yeah, it's just a few inches long. <laughs> I'm never going to let you live that down. You you must carry this wagon forever. Oh my god, it's so annoying. I might have to go fucking shave it off. It's pissing me right off. What's going on with it? Um. Anyhow, yeah. So we were kind of talking about some of the things that have made the game more difficult. So one of the things is something that I'd never considered, but someone left it in the comments, that this floor is quite a lot harder than it should be, really. Which I kind of knew. I knew it was definitely harder than the sewers, but I didn't really sort of consider how much, because obviously it uses a lot of enemies that are meant to be on the RNG department and other floors such as that. Um which uh, they're late game enemies and the health does scale appropriately to the floor that it's on so they don't have ridiculous health but they do have more advanced attack patterns which can lead to some problems how did i get hit there i lost i lost my cracked egg but i did get the musket rifle very cool is this yeah this is, this is a new is gun new, yeah yeah yep, new gun it's very thematic it's, uh, for this character too it's one shot but piercing and bouncing i like it Seems it's good it's it's solid very high projection what it is as well yeah uh yeah it seems good uh, but they, they, were, they were kind of saying about how like this floor is generally a lot harder because of that because of those enemies and also because of the boss especially the fact that the boss spawns um 
spawns other enemies too. I, I found that particularly difficult in the last time I played against her. Um, and we we're just kind of saying that um, Apache might need to think of some additional ways to add, like, more reasons slash rewards for coming here. Like, even just having an additional item room or something is potentially a good way of doing it. Because, yeah, this, this floor is a lot harder than the sewers. And I feel like... We did the, discuss, the, like, we when we got that before, war yeah. mimic before... Yes, I thought that war yeah. mimic was intentional, and I was really inclined to think that that was awesome. But just something like, I don't know, let's say, like, the exit room always contains a war mimic or something would be a fun, it would be more loot, it would be still tricky, but more items, and it would be, like, war mimics. What's not, like, what's not to love? I know Apache fucking loves war mimics. <laughs> I love mimics. Um, but yeah, I think it's one of those things where it's like, at the minute... The only real incentive to come to this floor over the sewers is it's new. Once it's not new anymore, there's very little incentive to come to this floor. And especially with the added difficulty, it needs sort of tweaking and changing a little bit. A another few yeah. things we were talking about as well, which aren't, aren't sort of as direct, um, but we found it funny that um, Alexa and Hutz both ran into Bunny's um, like challenges. The blue challenge thing and the, um, what's it called? The broken remnant? So, <laughs> yeah, broken that one, chamber. That one's not really something you can do much about, maybe adding unlocks, but otherwise, yeah, that uh, that was pretty funny to see. Um, but what we saw, there's quite a lot of things really. Unlucky, just in the modded items. unlucky. Indeed. Just unlucky. in the modded items and stuff, like, a lot of the modded items, just because they're kind of designed towards Gungeon veterans or people that have played a long time, are, are very much based around risk reward. And so, for people that are new to the game or like just haven't played in a while, they can be a bit overwhelming or, or, or add quite a lot more difficulty than you'd expect. By the way, I'm loving this weapon, it's really good. It just sort of, it's one of those things where it's like, I'm very surprised that there wasn't a musket rifle in the game already. Yeah. You have you have a flintlock pistol in the form of the dueling pistol, but not not a musket rifle. When that's one of the most famous guns of all time. Yeah. Like American I really Civil like, War. I really level. like how well it works with um, Gungeon Smart Bounce sort of thing, where it, it like even if it doesn't have the right angle, it will bounce towards an enemy. That's intentional. I had to make it do that myself. Did you? Nice. I like the fact that yeah. it has that. Not like. Smart Bounce isn't default, you have to set it yeah. so that the projectile Smart Bounces. I really like the fact that this gun has Smart Bounce, because like that, there. Like, it makes it for clearing up small and weak enemies so much better. And it, it doesn't feel overpowered either, because it's it's not terribly ammo efficient and it does have a long reload. So it feels I would also balanced. point out that it is hitting more enemies than it would normally because of Angry Bullets. That is true. I did not think so, about that. It's, it's operating about, like, 50% better than it would be normally, but it's still a decent gun. I is made it, sure it, it was a, a decent gun. Is it a green chest item? It's, a, it's D tier. Oh, it's D tier. Uh, wow. Yeah, it's D tier because I figure it's one of those guns that really falls off in effectiveness in the later game. Yeah, and also I feel like stuff like the dueling pistol, the older weapons, even if they are a bit strong, kind of do belong in the brown chests. Yeah. The musket rifle's really good for the first couple floors, and it's, I feel like it falls off hard because that long reload does become more impactful when you have more enemies, so on and so forth. What's this little bugger? What's that? Spore shot. Spore mushroom. shot. Looks like a bunny item, I think. It is. Um, chance to fire out ineffective... Sp infective, ineffective. Infective You spores. caught yourself before I did. I love it. <laughs> These Growing. rounds are covered in infectious fungus. Ooh, that sounds really cool. Uh, does it do it when I'm just firing normally? Okay, no, they're just think, like it just like highlights them blue. I see. I think it has a chance. From what I think, I think this might have a chance to uh, infect enemies with, so that they leave projectiles when they die. Kind of like the blue enemies on corrupted floors, but yeah, but like friendly. Uh, sort of, it won't yeah. hurt me. Yeah. Got hit by a either that or it's uh, either that or it's mucormycosis. That would be pretty good. Mur Muramycosis, whatever it's called. I always call it muramycosis. I think it's, I know it's mura, mura, I, mura, mura mycosis. I, th I think it's mucor, but I could be wrong. I always call it muramycosis. Muramycosis. I don't know. 
I'm using the Corsair here because it's going to deal with the uh, other enemies a bit easier. And it is. It is. It is. It is mucor. Mucor mycosis. Damn, I never knew that. Well, yeah, because you didn't. You, you've never actually paid attention to the individual words. You've just gone. Ah, uh, it's. I just oh, basically. Mycosis. I just. I just say what I think it is, and that's that's now headcanon for me. That is now correct for me. Whatever I thought it sounded like to start with is what it definitely is. You. You have this thing where you you read the beginning and the end of a word and just assume the middle. That that is literally like sort of one of the definitions of um of ooh very cool then um what's one of the definitions of dyslexia that is doing that? Like you read you read infective and you saw in and active and assumed ineffective instead yep. of infective. Yep. Your baby. Your baby, you'll learn words one day. Also, the thing tinting your bullets blue is frost bullets, not ah, okay, or okay, shot. Okay. I like the way you climb a ladder up to take a chamber down. It's funny. It works though. It does, but it is funny. <laughs> I think I was the person who bullied Apache into adding something like that because I felt like it was weird to have an elevator in a jungle it, I, yeah I, th I think it makes more sense the way it is definitely um tower cannon's probably a bossing gun right i uh, can be i'll stick with this for now uh, hopefully I get some ammo for it yeah, with angry bullets this thing is fucking awesome i love angry bullets i know a lot of people don't like it because it breaks explosives but i really like it that's a fix that you can- Oh, wait, there's the spore shots. Look, it is Muramycosis. Nice. Oh, neat. I like burrito, it. Burrito burrito. Um. Oopsie. What was so I it is a there? different projectile yeah, that I gets fired sometimes. Yeah, I just saw it. Yeah, that would be a cool mod for someone to make. A mod that fixes that fucking stupid interaction with, uh, with angry bullets. Because Sin never forgive me. No, you need the key, remember. Go and rat. Do. Oh, also, she's selling the pea shooter. I don't think that's normal. Maybe it's like a, a butter bean situation where it's not actually the pea shooter. I th actually, what I think it is is somebody added the item to their pool before it was probably s before it was properly set up. If you run your code in the wrong order, like if you try to add your gun to the pool before the part in the code where the gun gets assigned a proper ID, it defaults to the pea shooter, so... Ah. Uh, I reckon that somebody tried to add a gun to, to Cursula's pool, but they put the code in the wrong place. So, it defaulted. Good diagnostic, sir. Thank you. It's the only thing I'm good at. <laughs> But let's uh, let's let's talk about some of the horrific things we've seen as of the last hour. Oh yeah, um, chicken porridge. <laughs> we've been watching more co uh, horrible cooking videos, um, and there's there's been some real bad ones. We started off with uh, lasagna, that um, that was just the worst thing ever. Um, basically, this guy just made lasagna by putting a single layer of meat where he mixed in the white no, and red no, sauce into no. the meat. No, 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 no. He boiled put, meat. He put two layers of meat. Two layers of meat in the whole lasagna. I thought it was only one at the very bottom. No, there was one at the bottom, then he covered it with cheese, and then some more cheese, then he put some pasta, then he put some cheese, then he put some meat. I didn't realize there was a second layer of meat, but anyways, the amount exactly. of, che the amount of cheese realize. on this thing, the amount of cheese on this thin. thing was insane. Like, he put like, I think it was eight bags of mozzarella, and like three whole containers of powdered parmesan. Uh, it was just ridiculous. It's it's just the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. And we followed it up by watching someone make a football cake, which was equally as offensive. It looked like an alien spacecraft. Yeah, basically he just took a fuckload of flour, mixed it with a tiny bit of butter, and then a ton of water until it combined into this sort of glue. And then he haphazardly formed it into a ball um, which didn't really look like a ball, and then just covered it in what looked like jizz, but was actually icing. Oh, interestingly, uh, if you go to the musket rifle, 
if you throw the musket rifle, you'll see that it actually has, like, a proper hitbox. Like, throw it. it act the hitbox actually lines up with the sprites because, and I'm just gonna uh, give a shout out here, Special API Sparpy is a fucking genius and figured out how to do add automatic gun sprite trimming. So that, uh, mm. generally, in order to make sure guns are centered in the UI, we add empty space to the sides of the gun animation so they look right. And this is normally fine, but it's why in the death Aminomicon, sometimes guns look really spread out for no reason. Uh, because that's the empty space, and for some reason, the death Aminomicon is stupid. By the way, what's the max charge on this thing? Uh, the fully glowing level. Okay, so, okay, okay. I don't want to charge it any further than that, then it'll also get hurt. Yeah. Yes. I could just use it like this. This is probably a more effective way to use it, to be honest. Less ammo. Yeah, literally, but... just like in Half-Life 2. Half-Life, as well. Yeah. In Half-Life, it's also more effective to just spam the Tau Cannon than charge it. Ooh, all reliable. We're getting a lot of regular ass guns here. I say that, and we've got a fucking one that shoots, there's a bird, some sort of amalgamation of crap and a wrench, so maybe not. Yeah, very normal guns. Ulfbert is uh, a really obscure reference to an ancient Nordic sword manufacturer, so take that as you will. You will need a key. Check the shop. Yep, there is one, but it's 43 cent, so I can't afford it. Oh. Wait, why is it 43 cent on the second floor? I have no idea. The, the first floor one was 17, so I don't know what the hell's going on. My, my discount went down. Oh, and now it's did, back you, did you update Alexandria? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I clicked to update all mods, so... Uh, today? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I always update uh, before, uh, before um, launches. Uh, did fuck. you break things? Sorry, if you're, excuse me, I need, to, I need to talk to my agent. Fuck. Yeah. Shit, even. Cunt. <laughs> yes. One day, your parents are just going to walk in and be like, um... Oh, me? that's already happened. Excuse me, what, sir? It's okay. They, they just know you're a bad influence on me. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna come visit you at some point and they're gonna be expecting some like absolute hooligan. I mean you're British. I feel like I use that joke too much, but it works just as well every time. <laughs> so this is rat room. I know oh. I see it. Yep. Right there. The sniper is not very strong. Because it's meant to be like fired quickly, if I recall correctly. I see. It's not got a lot of ammo for that then. Eh, I suppose it's not too bad actually. It's reliable, not good. Still have to add the grassy knoll. Ooh, that'd be cool, yeah. You know what that you know what that means? It's the fucking John F. Kennedy sniper. Yeah. Grassy Knoll is the place he got uh, assassinated, but I feel like adding a, a rifle called the Grassy Knoll would be funny. It, it's just amusing that I, I I was like, yeah, I'll add a gun that's a reference to an actual assassination. And you're like, oh yeah, that'd be cool. It's like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it would, it would, it would. I, no, so be, I'm so not be, really I, sure. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be honest, I'll be honest. For some reason, my even though this has nothing to do with the words Grassy Knoll, my first reaction, like my automatic like assumption, was you meant the uh, the grass covered sniper from Modern Warfare, from the from the um, like stealth mission, because that's like a grass covered sniper, and I don't know why, but I jumped to mind for it when I'm like, oh, that's cool. And then I was like, wait a minute, that's not what you're talking about, is it? Yeah, reason why it comes to mind is because this gun, the old reliable, was actually a prototype design for the grassy knoll that I was working on. But I, I I scrapped the design because I felt like it was it looked too too old, mm. uh, and I 
elected to just make it its own gun instead because it looks like a very like an old-fashioned kind of gun not like yeah. a not like something you'd associate with an assassination really like more like something you'd associate shot. with world war one yeah yeah i'm gonna say i'm really liking the spa shot i, I really want to get it with a shotgun more I, think, I think with a shotgun oh my god you're so oh my god you're such a fungus spore i'm killing fungus with fungus it's some fungus on fungus action ah Absolutely clapped his cheeks. I did. I really like this character. I don't this character's very, very well sprayed. The Amaconda's Amaconda's nest. nest. Uh, probably just get keys. Amaconda's Actually, see if the keys uh, are fucked <gasps> up on this floor as well. Hello! There's a secret room off here as well. Where? There. If there's a uh, walkway off a Why shrine room that? like that, that... Why didn't I break hmm? that? I just opened this chest and there was no reason for me to open it. I should have just bro broken it. We did get the up and 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 up. The up and up. Up and up gets affected twice by bullet stat modifiers. Pretty good, so I get better ice bullets and better... No, uh, stat, mo stat modifiers. Ah, okay, so it's kind of crap if you right get, now. If you, get, like, if you get, like, damage ups or... Uh, Speed ups or knockback ups, etc. Well, this it, thing's pretty good with the spot. It gets affected twice by those. I see that. Yeah, I, sh I probably should have yeah, broken that chest. If you ever see a a walkway off of one of those shrine rooms that just goes to a wall, it means there's a secret room there. Those walkways never lead to nothing. They always lead to something. Okay, yeah, the spot shot is incredible with this weapon. Yeah. Why? Because it's firing Why? multiple shots, so the multiple spores come out. Mm. Fucking stupid colors, yeah, I sense. hate them. I love color. They make me happy. Munch, munch. Munch, munch. For some reason, part the sprite is still there. What's going on? Oh, we got something so much better, though. Up. Uh, yeah, this can work. If, it, if, if this fire spores, I'm going to be a very happy boy. I, I It might. I, I don't necessarily know how Bunny coded the spore shot. It's entirely possible that it does. Why'd you break the chest? Because I've got Junkin. Oh, you do? I didn't even fucking notice. Do you know what I was saying earlier? Oh, I should have just broken that chest. It's because I have Junkin. I thought you were just going on because it was a brown chest and you were racist. <laughs> no, I got Junkin from the fucking shrine. I didn't even notice. I was just like... Blanking. I, I did a complete turtle moment. Holy shit. <laughs> what bus we got? It doesn't destroy but, but bullets, that thing, so... It does fire spores. I always oh get hit by this bitch. Maybe don't use a melee weapon. Maybe shut up. considered it, but no one's ever been able to make me. I don't have a lot of health for the rats, so I might die to him because it's terrible mode, but... No, 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 you said the rat's easy. I Come did. on now. What's this? Uh, flipped tables have a chance to turn into decoys. Ooh, that's really cool. I like it. Also, you need to get a blank. Yeah, correct, sir. How much was this again? Ah. It seems to have upped its own price. Something might still be broken with the uh, Alexandria price management. I think Bunny fixed that a couple days ago, but it might have reared its ugly head again. Either that or you did an update. Or oh, I've broken something. Entirely possible. All three, I'll have to look into all it. Three probably happened. All three at once. I've broken something. Uh, you haven't updated to include my broken thing, which is... And uh, it's also a bug that is persistent. Basically, everything's gone wrong at once. It's a quantum issue. 
It is. I do have a mod that, that's supposed to show me the right directions. I've never used it before, though, so I don't know how it'll work. I'm guessing it's just going to be an arrow on the floor, maybe, or something? I, I honestly don't know. I don't remember. I'm going to really suck at Punch-Out as well, most likely. You said the rat's easy. Shh, it's been a while. Shut up. He went on a whole tirade about how easy the rat is and how much he feels like he doesn't deserve the amount of loot he gets because the the fight's so easy. And so hey. that's why I'm making him do this. This is a new room. What the hell? Yeah, I think Planet Side actually does add some new rooms to the rat floor. Ooh, Not a whole lot, that. but but a decent yeah, amount. Of course, you don't. of course you didn't know it because you never come here. What did you expect? I hide from this place. Where's the arrows? It did the arrows, I don't fucking see them. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's because it's inside the wall. The arrows are literally inside the wall, look. Right, well, at least they come out far enough. Yeah, Planet Side seems to add a lot more new rooms than I realized. Really cool, I never knew that. Bunny me, lads. Good job. Left. Left. Yeah, true. You don't trust me at all. <laughs> what the fuck? It's nothing. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shooting it does nothing. Oh wait. Okay. It's breaking. Defiler. Ah. Oh hi. Hello. Ah. What are you? He's frozen. Go in. Go in for the kill with the melee. Uh, you seen how many bullets are on my screen? Oh, he died. Oh, you got money out of it. That was pretty cool. <laughs> it's a little while okay. since I've seen that guy. Honestly, there's like literally only new rooms down here. He must have added a lot. I mean, the rat floor didn't have a lot of new rooms to begin with. Nah, I had like 10, didn't it? Yeah, but like... That guy, it's been a long time since I've seen yeah, that guy. I, I think, I think it, uh, uh, I've only seen him like once before. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, that enemy did that spawn in glitch. Dude, I need you to really stop think you can either. afford to be losing more health at the moment? You get a bunch of health when you get to the Atlas room. Yeah, well, you, right? you get two hearts and you're already down more than two hearts. I like the noise this thing makes with the spawn bullets. It sounds horrendous. It sounds sexy. Oh, for fuck's sake. Stupid Two hearts. Turtle fuck. Really? This will be seeing how easy that rat is then. Mm, I'm not ready. See, this only happened because you had to brag about how easy the fight would be. You know what? Shut. Why didn't I fucking put ammo into the Tau Cannon? Oh, he's flustered. Ladies and gentlemen, we enter the rat fight. Turtles kills off his game. He gets hit immediately by the first attack. <laughs> it's remarkable. It's like he's never even played this, this game before. I don't remember this fight. Well, that, what the hell's he doing? That was new. What's all it's this? Not new. Oh, no, no. It's the towel cannon it's visuals. The gun, it's, the, it's the gun you're using. <laughs> I was so confused. Turtle manages to confuse himself with his own weapon. Remarkable. I don't think I've seen that play before. It's almost as if he's trying to confuse the rat. One phase and he makes it through the first phase. Not a no hit, remarkably. Let's hope the next phase doesn't spawn too many jammed enemies, otherwise he's toast. Prediction, right out the gate, it's gonna do that spinny ring thing. And he's gonna Speed fucking die. Oh, fuck. On turbo mode, that's gonna make me shit myself. Okay. Okay, we have the flame lasers. Ah, what the fuck hit me Immediately then? he gets hit. Uh, a bullet, Turtle. A bullet. He fires bullets. I don't know if you know this, but this is a bullet hell. I forgot that he fired bullets while doing that attack. Honestly, this spar shot thing is awesome. Okay, he's utilizing the uh, freeze, the frost bullets effect to uh, essentially cheese his way through the boss by slowing down the speed at which it can attack. What the fuck? The, the, the circle thing's not working. The boss appears to be broken. <laughs> I win by default. <laughs> The boss didn't show up in 15 minutes, so he's legally allowed to leave. Okay, the boss is spawning enemies. Uh, they're coming to eat his ass. 
This attack's but ladies and gentlemen, remember, this isn't the crux of the fight. He still has punch out to make it. And that, that, that's the one that I'm going to do really bad on. We flawless this bit. Finishes the off. I? I can't remember. No, no, I didn't. No, you I didn't. didn't. I got you, got hit, you got hit by the attack. I honestly, you I, I don't the boss even remember fight. the controls. Oh. I don't even remember the controls. But you've gotten uh, some trash, some garbage. Also, punch out. You should really do a, a bit more often because the amount of work that goes into making punch out sprites for oh, custom I know. characters. I, re I realize it is extreme. I realize it's something. You just something avoid that, it. I know. I realize it's something that people put a fucking insane amount of effort into that I do not respect enough at all. Oh, I did the wrong uh, yeah. wrong dodge there. He gets tail whipped by the rat. He gets fucking slapped. He gets his shit torn up by the rat. Eating fat little shit. Cock. Why? Why? Why with the cheese? Why with the fucking cheese? He's trying to cheese the fight. Remember, you get extra loot if you finish oh. off each phase with a special. I realized that, but I was not in time. Look at the captain's cybernetic eye. It's cool, isn't it? I'm fucked up. Yeah. Fucking stop cheesing! Lincius. Hey, get slapped, boy. Lincius is a great artist. I said I didn't even know this I'm character walking... existed until I looked through the, uh, the characters that had been ported. Oh, by the way, can you port my turtle melon character at some point? Cause I, I, I didn't realize that it hasn't been ported yet. Maybe. I'm working with Lincius at the moment on a, another custom character called the Geneticist. Ooh. Uh, yeah, it's going to make mutants and stuff, and I fully expect you to play it the first thing after it comes out. I will. Don't worry. We got this. The AK, AK not a number. Yeah, the AK not a number. The glitch AK. Okay then, we got the the constructor. Oh, that's clever. We got this little spring roll. Spring roll. I think it's oh, like a effect. speed. Ooh, it is. It's a speed. Speed roll. So. And we've got some sort of random box. It looks like an item I uh, shouldn't to get. It's an emerald. Grants poison immunity. Okay. Fine. You should go advanced dragon. I'd have to give How up junk to do that, so no. How long... Oh, you have glass guan stones, genius. And the rat. True. You can kick him. Just interact with him kick you in a minute, sir. Man just doesn't remember anything about the game. Nothing about the video game stays in his head. I do remember that for some reason you can pick up the ammo here, even if you don't need it. Yeah, I think it's because it's technically a pedestal item. And pedestal items don't have the same pickup logic as on-the-floor items. They're technically just an interactable that has the sprite of the item and runs the pickup logic when you touch it. It's weird. I got stuff behind him. Man, it's not that difficult. Come on, play the video game. And then you give him the glass guan stones that you are never going to use. You have to actually throw them at the dragon. Fucking shut up. <laughs> antagonizing, you, antagonizing you is one of the best parts of my night. <laughs> Use one more key, see if you get the rat boots, since I know that's the one item that you, like, accept. Hey, you did. <laughs> Yay. All the rest of them are too good. Should I use this glitch AK? It feels like it's going to be a mess. Uh, funny thing, that synergy with... Frost bullets is actually really clever. Why? What the synergy mean? name is is while true, which if you know code, that's that's how you cause a freeze. Oh. Get it? <laughs> very smart. Very smart. The name of the synergy is code that would cause a freeze. It's very very clever. Why does while true cause a freeze? 
because the game devotes all of its resources. Computers can only calculate one thing at a time. They don't like it. Computers can only calculate one thing at a time, and while true tells it to calculate the same thing forever. So ah. it, it doesn't have time to calculate anything else. And they, they calculate this one thing incredibly fast, to the point where it looks like they're calculating multiple things at once, but they're not. They can only do a certain amount of operations per second. Here's a Leah Y. I think, was it Bleak that made that uh, damage? Well, not, not Bleak, Ski? Skeletor? Made what? It might have been him who made the damage indicator uh, by the uh, active item. Hey, Tatum. How are you doing? Oh, you're getting really close to the mic. Please don't burp, because everyone will hear it. Tatum's come and she's put her head on my keyboard. Cute. She's being a sweetheart. Oh, it's one of these she's what I'm She's doing, wondering what I'm doing, so... Oh, she just bonked the mic with her face. I, I heard that a little bit, yeah. Little bonk. Oh, so these are hive mind kin. They're really cool. They all attack at the same time, yeah. Yeah, the nearest one points at you, and every other one... Uh, copies their aim direction. So it creates some really interesting, um, what's the word? Patterns to dodge. Uh, my brain couldn't f remember what the word was. I almost said, uh, bulleting. Bulleting. Yeah, some interesting bulleting to dodge. So now Gungeon, uh, Gungeon, now Junkin is leveled up, you can actually take items. Yep. And I think he also gets my spa shot too, which is pretty cool. I'm freezing. Oh, he should do. Yeah, he, yeah, look, he is. It's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. Yeah, all companions get bullet effects because of the way the game is coded. Oh, it's the baby oh, look, that, shotgun. That thing. That's not a shotgun, but still. It's a pistol. Fires pure, unconcentrate, pure, uh, undiluted love. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> I, don't I, like that. I filled this gun. I filled this gun with my love. No, 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 no! You did not. I. It's full of. It's full of love. No, no, no. It does shit damage, by the way. Just, just pointing out. Things I realize, but I want to use it. It does. Cause... Hello, chumpy. Table tech devour. I've never had that before. Also, Poison Frog is pretty, pretty lit, so I'll take it. With Angry Bullets, this thing should be really good, too. Yeah, Poison Dart Frog is one of those guns that's way better than its tier, but I, I, I leave it in the tier anyways, because it's just one of those... Yeah, it's kind of like, like Luxon Cannon. Yeah, it feels like it could be a tier higher, but... I like the noises it makes too. Stolen directly from the. Uh, I don't bubble quite. Blaster. It's just like I don't. I like that they don't quite fit correctly, but I kind of like that. It gives it some charm. Like for an animal spitting something out of its mouth, that cute little blip is the the best sound yeah. in the base game that you can use, in my opinion. Why don't you record your own sounds, gosh? I have, but I don't like doing that because WIs makes me want to die. W what? WIs, it's the audio software you need to use to make sound bundles to work with Gungeon and they make me want to, they make me want to uh, commit Sudoku. Commit Sudoku, yes, I agree. Cool. I hate working with it, it's absolute garbage, which is why Spoppy even has a, uh, a reference to WIs in his, in his mod. Oh, right. There's uh, a gun in his mod called the AK Sound Engine, which, uh, if you're not aware, the AK Sound Engine is the code that Gungeon uses to play audio. Ah. And it's powered by WYs. And everyone thinks it's that trash that needs to be its own item. Yeah, when you look oh, at the Aminomicon of the AK Sound Engine from Smarty's mod, it says it has a picture of a trash can with the words WIs and a big red arrow. 
And uh, the gun itself fires shots from the uh, gar- uh, the garbage cannon, or the trash cannon. Yeah. I forget the name. Uh, because WIs is trash. It is rubbish. I haven't seen it that is... yet. That's incorrect. I would you be have very confused. It. Have I seen it? Yes, you have. I don't remember. I was, uh, I'm and you were very confused. You were very confused, yes. When was that? I was in a while ago. It was like a, a week ago. I don't remember at all. Oh, it's all buddy. Yeah. Who who made this? Me. It's cute. It's a fun guy. Fun guy. Cute. So this guy's he's just a like a friendly fun gun. <laughs> That's just about it. He shoots spore clouds. I like it. Why did I not do the fucking thing? Uh, for some reason, this thing's charging incredibly fast, and I love that. I'm just dropping fucking rocks on everything constantly. I got I used it four times in that fight. Pretty sure that means that it's probably a combination of Apache not adding enough cooldown to the item. And, uh, and you doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Also, look, he has a map icon. He does, it's cute. What a little fella. What a little fella. I have another Discord Do message. Doing stuff like the rat and the dragon, I feel, are ways to spice up runs, you know? True, true. I probably should do them more often. Especially, especially, that, since, especially since I'm going to make Gungeon a more regular series. Especially since the rat can allow you to skip the hollow if you want. I would never do that though, <laughs> ever. True, but if you were like, if you were concerned about like run length, true, true, of going to an extra floor and such. I do sometimes cut off at dragons. So I could always skip the hollow, cut off at dragon for a shorter run. Yeah. Taking an awful lot of time to load this here floor there. That's just how you know it's quality. It's like a fine cheese. Oh, I'd die. It's, it's like a fine cheese right now. Oh. A fi uh, fine block of sourced up cheese with a little bit of <laughs> boiled meat. On, um, on New Year's Eve, of course, I got very drunk, so I didn't end up waking up until... Yeah. Any think... occasion. Any fucking occasion this guy gets drunk. And he, he, drunk, he drunk messages me as well. He's like, I'm so drunk right now. I always mess with it's, 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 it's very sweet, but I don't know what to say to him. <laughs> it's like, uh, put, your, put your dick away, Walter. <laughs> put your dick away, Walter. But anyways, yeah, I didn't end up waking up until one the next day. So it was quite a heavy sesh. Um, and because of that, one of my sort of go-tos uh, in heavily drinking, especially around events like New Year's, is making a big old thing of mac and cheese. And I hadn't made one in like a year, and oh my god, it was the fucking best. It was so good. Ah oh man, I can't believe you hadn't celebrated New Year's in a year. How can I you know. go that long without doing it? I like to regularly celebrate New Year's. Yeah, he, he regularly messages me when he's drunk. And he's he's fortunately a happy drunk, he doesn't like Well, it, uh, dep it depends. I, I, like, I, I, I wouldn't say I'm ever not a happy drunk, but... I'm usually, usually when I message you, it's because I'm particularly happy because I'm drunk on rum. Rum is a, is an alcohol that is, for me, the best to get drunk with because it normally put, is, puts me in the best mood. Yeah, I've, so that's his vice. I've also learned recently, though, that if I have too much, I just start crying, so I, I've got to be careful. It's just, it's an enigma because he'll, he'll just be, he'll just say, I'm very drunk. <laughs> and I don't know what to say to that a lot of the time. She's like, well, why'd you do that now? <laughs> <laughs> okay, fuck, fuck you do that for? Fun Idiot. It. It's fun but Yeah. It. Uh, it happens, you know, it, it can be. Like once a week. <laughs> like what, that time when you sent me your awful fucked up hair? I did. 
I sent Evan I in still... a picture. Way, way before my face reveal, I sent Evan in a picture of uh, the top of my head and nothing else while my hair was extremely fucked up because we'd been on a night out or something and it just looked horrible. And it was too long at the time as well and it just looked awful. Yeah, I, I keep on using that comparison, but he looked like the guy from The Fifth Element, the villain. <laughs> with that awful, fucked up, like, half comb over thing. Oh, what are these little things? Yeah, these uh, these fire pots. These are another um, planet side thing, I think. Really They're not used nearly enough. They're really awesome. Yeah, I'd like to see more of them. Even on earlier forge, they really, I'd like to see more of them. They really fit the forge. Yeah, yeah. They but do. they would also work on earlier floors. Because they are just pots pretty much anything fire. but the hollow. Like, mines would fit really well in. Yeah, because having fires in a coal mine is a really good idea. Can, can, can you, like, unfreeze? Dude! Look, stop freezing him! This bullshit. I'll get a drink while I wait for this enemy to die. It's the worst. I hate that freezing does this. It's bullshit. Oh my fucking god! He's not even living. Oh! Duncan, I swear to God. <laughs> Duncan, I'm going to divorce you. It's because it's Duncan's firing out some of these spores as well. Yeah, and uh, the fungi uh, is, is firing a lot of freezing bullets because of the way... Uh, because of the way Gungeon handles random chance on bullet mods, companions proc bullet mods a lot more than you do. Oh, do they? Yeah, it's it's just a weird oversight with the way it's handled. Good shit. Basically, the game uses how fast your weapon is firing uh, to calculate how often a bullet modifier should be applied. Which is why with slow charge guns, you get a bullet modifier almost every shot. Yeah. A brave noble bullet warrior, um, and it's also got a grappling hook synergy. What is this? What is this I think synergy? that's the level 20 rogue synergy. I would like that. Also, what is this? Immolation, Immolation powder. powder. Just take it, why not? And it'll live with me, that's a reference to funny dead man game. Passively reduces the rate at which you burn and oh, uh, right. grants great power when burning. Ooh. So it sets. Also, you left your rock slide in there. Yeah, I can't. I can't pick it up. It's fine. I, I want to keep the right. uh, the grapple. Just making sure you're aware because you're kind of a bimbo. So it like sets you on fire, and you gain increased stats when you're on fire. But you have to make sure you don't let yourself take damage. That's really nice. But yeah, this thing. Uh, it's basically the attack of the Law Gunjura. You know how they create. Yeah. Little, little shits who are like fucking irritating. You know those things? Yeah, I recreated that in a, in a gun because I, I wanted to. It's cool. DL chest. Hmm. Ridiculously expensive. Oh, speaking of, for Christmas, I got my brother. Uh, the Crusader Kings DLCs. How many of them? Uh, one of the packs. It was during a... It was a Steam sale. Yeah. Steam winter sale around Christmas. So it wasn't too expensive, but... Uh... I was talking about, like... So how many DLCs are in this thing? And, he's, and he just answered me with, well, it's a Paradox game. Ah, uh, so, right, yes. So many. That's like, oh... We added a dog. DLC. I, I simultaneously love and hate games that have a lot of DLC. Because if they have a lot of DLC, they have a lot of content. But you also have to pay for all of it. Yeah. You don't get to, like, get I've, it all in one thing. I've, I've um, adopted quite a bad habit of buying pretty much every City Skylines DLC and then playing the game for like a week and never touching it until the next DLC comes out. It's your addiction. So I've just spent a fuckload of money on City Skylines and I've not even got like a hundred hours in it. Like, I... 
I typically will buy just the base game for a thing, and if I like it, I'll wait till there's a sale and get like the DLC bundle that they always have. Yeah. They always have like a big DLC bundle that goes like 70% off uh, during the Steam sale. True, yeah. Oh, hey, Tatum. Have you come back because you wanted attention? She's thrusting her head into my hand, demanding that I give her pets. Cute. She's looking at me like, don't tell them that. What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> that's, my, that's my little secret. Tatum is a very expressive dog, and I love that about her. She, she, like, she has very expressive eyes. It sounds silly to say, but she, she has facial expressions. There yeah. are some dogs that are like little demons with black eyes and you can't tell what's going on inside their head. Whereas Tatum, Tatum has a brain. Long roll boots. These are, a, I guess, a parody of Portal's long fall boots. They, uh, they got made a lot better as well because they used to, they used to fucking zoom you across the entire room. Now it seems to be a much more respectable roll. I where you kind of slide after the roll too. Oh. Hayden is, is really affectionate at the moment. I don't know why. She'll ignore me for the whole night and then decide that she wants affection. I want and then decide, no, that. that's enough. I'm going to go lick your toes now. <laughs> She's licking my toes. It's really uncomfortable. I forgot, wow, you suck at this game. I forgot about the, the, the advanced dragon thing. And so I was just kind of stood there, and then the ice slid me into one of its bullets while I was changing weapons. That was oh. eventful. Anyways, this is quite luckily just about on time, because I was going to have to skip out on boss rush, not boss rush, um, bullet hell anyways, because I have like an hour and it's been 56 minutes. Um, so that's good. I managed to force him to go to rat for the first time in forever. It was fun. I enjoyed it. I'll accept that. Yeah. Yeah, I bet you enjoyed it, bitch. <laughs> Go to the rat more often. I'll try to. But yeah, I'll, we're, I'll we're gonna bully you into it. We're gonna be doing Fucking... dungeon twice a week here, so I'm gonna try and make sure. That yeah, you, never near... yeah, you little, hey. yeah, you little gun slut. Go to rat. Hey, hey now, hey now. I'm gonna try and make sure that if there's two episodes a You're week, You're an all-star. Gungeon... Put your game on. Go play. I was gonna hey call now. you Gungeon then. Never named is in at least one of them, so we'll try and make that work. Try to. Yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and oh my god, yep, I'll see you in the next one, I guess. Leave a comment, if you made it this far in the video, leave a comment, uh, calling Turtle, uh, a rat, rat, yellow-bellied rat hiding varmint. And call never named, um, hmm, hmm. Pick penis. There you go.